I need more fucking streaming music on God. Like, you understand, I just pull from, like, a, like a regular playlist of songs that I normally listen to, like, by default. The only problem is I don't look for music that frequently. So I just kind of assume that whatever, like, Japanese music I'm listening to recently or, like, Vocaloid songs won't get claimed or something that's, like, from a video game or some shit. The thing is that there's a, there's a pretty solid chance that I, that I, that I either will or will not get, uh, fucking copyright struck down with the force of a thousand suns. It's really funny. Uh, also, hello, everybody, and welcome to, uh, the stream. Here, get that fucking, get out, get out, out get out of Monoguchi out of here. Don't get me wrong, I love that song, but also, like, meh. You can only listen to so many times. Hello, Sam. Hi. Um, this is doing the usual uh, streamer talking to yourself until somebody decides to hop in. <laughs> so anyways, today we are playing uh, The Upturned. Hello. 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 Um, I only heard about this game uh, because I saw a, a collection of clips that uh, one Joel Vine Sauce played a hot minute ago. Mm -hmm. uh, during, played this during Halloween, to my understanding. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. It looks kind of nifty. And apparently, this is a fully finished game and just available on Steam. Um, hey, guys. Alrighty then. A lone traveler enters the afterlife. What is his name? Um. Jamon. Brian. Ja. Chew. No. You like no. Hey, what the fuck? What's the traveler's <laughs> last name? Manju. Or. At. <laughs> Ju or a. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, I don't! He does! <laughs> Yo. Does this look like I'm watching a sped up YouTube video <laughs> yeah, of no, the gameplay? The, ga the game just runs at this speed. Also here, I have to fucking turn my shit down a little bit. There we go. Oh boy. Light. <laughs> Hello, Noir. Hello, Noir. Your microphone is not functioning at the moment. Uh -huh. I said the best thing about the upturn is you never know what'll turn up. True. There we go. Uh, yes, the game forced me to have a name that was exactly five letters long. So I am Ja or an Aura. <laughs> you Aura. Oh, okay. <laughs> but that's one way to open a door. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, alright, dude, come on. Woo! Just upturn it. This game, this game started out with saying only cowards tell scary stories. <laughs> no, it was t cowards can only tell scary stories. Uh, okay. Why, hello and welcome to the Upturned Inn! Would you like to book a stay? Yes, and your name is Mr. Ju Aura, is that right? That's a strange name! But you look like a strange little man. Ah, you already have a reservation! Of course, I should have known you did because everybody does. Your room is on floor 1434, room number 14341. 
What is this, the silver case? Don't worry, you can take the elevator. In fact, there's no stairs. Sounds like a safety hazard. Ah! I forgot to introduce myself. You can call me Ick. I am the founder of this establishment. As such, I take personal concern for your pleasure and safety. Okay. This guy is giving me a sort of uh, a, a cane from Digital Circus vibe. A little bit, yeah. Floor complete! I medic. Grade J plus. Let's go. You get a J plus for doing such a great job. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, we gotta get comfy. We're going up like a thousand flights of stairs, or a thousand flights of elevator. Elevator is rotating. Seems like we're getting upturned somewhat. Oh. The elevator is rotating in the wrong direction now. <laughs> How do you know it's the wrong direction? The light has gone out. Maybe it's supposed to do that. Hello, Mr. J- Are you there? No. Aha! Very funny, sir. Is everything fine down there? I heard an unholy screeching from the elevator, and I couldn't tell if it was you or the cables. And coincidentally, at the same time, I looked out through the front window and saw the small strike of lightning. I haven't seen a storm since, well, uh... Help. Ah, yes, right. You are still in the elevator. Let me see. I have an app for this exact scenario. It'll show me a 3D diagram of the elevator's current position. Oh, my! Mr. Aura, the elevator is sideways. I know. Yes, well, it appears to me the hoist cable was caught by a very large steel beam. And strangely, the elevator has lost power. Strange! This has never happened before. How strange. Strange. Yes, I'm very sorry to ask too much of one of my guests, but sir, could you locate the power box within the elevator and open it up? It should be up high somewhere. You'll have to jump and grab at the same time. Maybe dark in there. Remember, if you brought a flashlight, you can press F or X to use it, as everyone knows. I believe I did up as I was asked. Okay, there we go. As I thought, the plug is fried. I suppose it's true I haven't switched out switched it out in 40 years. Scream. Oh, oh no, Mr. Aura, please calm down. This is all covered in the manual. We do have to follow procedure. Which floor are you on? 13? Maybe we'll open the elevator doors. Could you go out and see if you can find the new new and shiny power plug? Then bring it then bring it back and put it in. I am terribly sorry to ask too many favors of one of my guests. It's unprofessional, but this is all I can do. I can do it. Okay, I'm gonna open the doors. Just wait, it might be a moment. I fucking love this dude's design. Would you play your character? Oh no, the uh I like there's no reason it needs to go that slow. Mm -hmm. Well, you just break stuff, man. Ah, uh, yeah, I like it. Uh, traditionally <laughs> in, uh, in, in architecture, they don't make a 13th floor. Looks like they just some. cut it out. Built some salt. That's only in the fucking states, because the states are fucking pussies. I'm not sure, but I think that might, that, that might mean good, good luck. They make a 13th floor, they just don't call it a 13th floor. Yeah, it's still the 13th floor, even if you number it wrong. Down. 
I also like there's just ladders everywhere. It's bad luck a rum. <laughs> Doing some renovations. I was gonna say that wait, when are we gonna break a mirror? And then I thought this game's not advanced enough to ha have functional mirrors. Oh, what do you mean? You like that? As I was running past a series of mirrors, they all broke at once. <laughs> I looked away yeah. for a second, then. Oof. <laughs> Put on my hat. I need my hat. <laughs> YouTube poop levels of room. <laughs> <laughs> Icon. Q minus. Q minus. <laughs> you took 99 damage. Oof. Another cell enters the upturned in. Is this an inn? Yeah, it's a. Yeah. I mean, it seems more like a hotel or an apartment building. <laughs> I was gonna say, I feel like inns are supposed to be like small. It's <laughs> well, funny you just start calling it a hotel. It's me. It's a guy. It's me. He's a guy. It's very rude to react to that, like someone's appearance con. No, no. I mean, just. Ah, hello! <laughs> Finally, you picked up Mr. J Is the elevator working? Yes. Well, that's great news! You'll be at you'll be at floor one four three four in no time. Say you should put me on speaker. Did you do it? Ah, good. Why do you walk like that? It looks like he's doing the smarmu dance. This is all very strange, but I hope you'll still give us a good rating. Da -da -dee -da. Wait, could you walk? Could you, you walk around again? You will see my hotel is really the end of the world. Trust me, you can forget all about the trouble with the elevator. It won't happen again. You have my word. There's, did something come in? Oh, oh, here, I found the lyrics. Mr. Orr, did the elevator break again? Yeah. Well, that's a hubbub. What number is that? Uh, 34. Yes, that's the maintenance floor. You shouldn't be in danger there. I mean, why would you be in danger? What? I'll open the elevator doors. Head in and see if you can find a power plug. Okay. Uh, you're probably the most polite guest I've had. And that's saying something. Last time I looked, we filled 11 million rooms. What a neat little number that is. <laughs> I'm opening the doors. Someone's unleashing their inner spam tent. You're be wondering why we have an electric power plant in our fine establishment. Well, the hotel goes so high, we have to uh, we have to get electricity up there somehow. Oh, I see. Okay. I think this implies otherwise you're just going to pitch them as hard as physically possible. <laughs> Are we? Wow, with physics even, that's that's actually kind of shocking. This is strange. And yet, I can't look away. I like the functionality of you have to pick up the med kit and hold it while moving to use it. I just like the flare of it. Green. Got these. I'll be right back. Yeah, okay. This guy sure is running a ratty ass in. <laughs> Alright, what kind of grade are we getting? D plus. At this point, I can't tell if that's better or worse. Unclear entirely. <laughs> These might be completely arbitrary. Yeah. All right, cool. I get to, oh, keep, I get to keep whatever I throw in the elevator. Now, what did you do? You broke it. Just open the doors. You broke it. Yes, right. Sorry for the uh, inconvenience, Mr. Aura. Opening the doors! Floor 47. Some of our guests are uh, very serious about the security. We've gone to great lengths to make them to make them comfortable. Oh. 
Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Back rooms. <laughs> I love the fucking little pitter patter of the feet. That's great. Wait, hold on a second. Before I do that, uh, let me look around a little bit more. It adds a certain oh. levity that the betrayal. <laughs> oh. Mr. Orr, are you okay? Yes. No, I mean, are you really, really okay? Yeah. Are you exceedingly, exorbitantly okay? So okay that you might explode! Yeah. Okay. I saw the flash of lightning outside. Really, really far away. And that's the second time. And then the power blinked. Coincidence. But we don't use power lines. We make our own power here. Eh, must be nothing. I found the power plug on the floor yet? Yes. Wonderful. We'll just have to get back to the elevator. That should be a piece of pie. Got a key. Whoa! Oh, hey, it's a guy. Now it's really the back rooms. Good game. Oh my! That's Lawrence. He's one of my other guests. Classic Lawrence L. Thank goodness you only knocked him out. I am terribly sorry for the trouble, Mr. Aura. Looks like you found the fuse. Nice, you gotta get out of there. <laughs> oh shit! I love the the the, the physicality of it all is just the best part. <laughs> Lawrence! Kill him. I, don't I, I like these I the soft comedy noises of him getting hit. God damn it, Lords. You can't keep doing this to me. Yup. Alright, cool. I'm safe. I think? I don't know. You don't know Lawrence can't jump. Clip through walls. True. That is a valid point. Get the fuck out of here. Lawrence may not be particularly stopped by things like walls or barriers. <laughs> or the fabric. Concepts. The oh, wait, I should have brought some more stuff. Thoughts can't Shit. stop him. <laughs> you met Lawrence. B e plus. K minus. K minus. <laughs> What's this little dancing sperm goat <laughs> man? It's an old dinosaur guy. It's just a little guy. It's just a little guy. I can't. I mean, I, he was gonna be a little guy regardless. Ah, uh, we're stuck in the Seven opening the doors. Seem to be on some kind of art floor. Uh, since since stuff is permanent, I'm just gonna hold on. I'm just gonna keep that there. I don't know why where my supplier gets those beautiful plastic models from, but we've ordered hundreds of them. Oh, for a second I thought he just meant like we just have plastic models of TVs everywhere. Not mm -hmm. sure why. I feel like most TVs are oh. there's a lot of plastic in most TVs. Almost definitely, yeah. I mean, there's lots of plastic in lots of things. Even you! I mean, it, it, it makes the general idea of a plastic model of a TV just that more absurd. Yeah. More medicine for later. I mean, do they run out? Mm. I just thought you used them like whenever you picked them up with both hands, but I, uh, I guess that's good I if mean, it like, works. I might as well sure. just hold on to them for something. You never know. Oh! We could walk back there and they could be destroyed by the draw distance. Oh my! Poorly rendered barbed wire. You know the stuff where they walk on hot coals? This must be the extreme version of that. Just our hotel guests having fun! <laughs> Sir, don't touch it. I, th I, I think, think I'm really far out. I, th I think my grip is a little too gorilla for this game. There we go. Yep. Ow, 
me. You took damage. That's fine. Look, I had a healing. Bro emoted. Wait, you don't want to bring it with you? There we go. Stupid ass, annoying ass, fucking shit. Right. I also, I also like the physicality of. Nah, I don't need a flashlight. Let me just bring a whole lamp. I mean, hey, it's effective. It's plugged into anything. Gets the job done, you know. Oh, what's up, Mister Aura? Have you found the power plug on this floor yet? I mean, you sound, you sound kind of tense. Well, so this thing is approaching your destination rapidly. Okay. Don't worry, sir. Take your time. But also, I'd advise you to hurry, as if your life depended on it. For fun! <laughs> Unfortunately for him, I have, like, I have exactly one pace. <laughs> oh. Cool. Just gonna hold on to this. All right, who's ch who's chasing me? Oh yeah, that's right here. Let me just open a door. There we go. Give me that. Oh hey there, buddy. What's up? Whoa! You stop! Ow! Oh no! You must have woken him from his beauty sleep. Oh, fuck. That's the wrong way. Get out of there, Mr. Aura! Oh my fucking god! Ah! Gone! <laughs> Gorilla. Woo! Three G minutes. Uh, 120 points of damage. You met the fat pajama man. Great. R plus. Apparently good. <laughs> you took that much damage, but you know. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. You did in such a good way, though. Uh, you you regain all your health once you fucking once you go up the floor. Guess that makes sense. All right, we're one one we're one fourteenth of the way there. <laughs> Mr. Aura, are you okay? Are you suffering from some kind of shock? Why? Because you were just brutally attacked by one of my other guests. I'm fine. Well, at least you won't ever see the fat pajama man ever again, since he's ten floors below you now. Of course, there's literally no way for him to get to you. That storm is really piping up outside. You have no idea how glad I am to hide behind these four walls. Just imagine if this hotel weren't here for the both of us. I'm also glad I have someone to talk to, because you see, not one stole has stumbled upon the upturned inn since you arrived, and I'm used to having at least a massive end, uh, massive endless line of waiting, waiting in the lobby. Of course, none of this is to alarm you, sir. All this fuss with the elevator, this loud storm, this l large angry man in pajamas, it's just an inexplicable one-time occurrence. No, it's not. I once sneezed a pasta noodle out through my nose, back when I had a nose. On Earth, Mr. Aura, did I scream and cry about it? Yes. Yes, actually, I did, but I was a mere child. If it happened to me now, I probably wouldn't. This is all just another noodle. Pay no mind to it. Opening the doors. It's like there's like a vent up there. Can I like reach it? Well, no. Nope. Okay. Sir, it's always good to keep an escape plan in mind. You never know what could happen on your way back to the elevator. Okay. But I'm sure you know that already. This is a game that have like a really this, this game could have like a really long running scene if someone bought if they bothered to like put in a fucking level editor. This game feels like it's screaming for one, especially because of the pretty easy tile set by comparison. It's just a series of hotel rooms. Or walls. Or elevators, I guess. 
Oh, it's getting more advanced now, I suppose. see the pajama guy again. Dude, this place is fun. Also, like, high-key fuck. Those are, uh... Oh, no. Bits. Coming out of what I can only describe as the fucking egg sack from Alien. I was gonna say they kind of look like big fleas, but, uh... That makes, that makes sense. I can see that. Nasty. Definitely nasty. What's in there? Oh, more eggs. Lovely. Can you stop fucking beating me up, you goddamn birdie bastard? Isn't it weird how birds hatch from eggs, but bats don't? No. I guess. Actually, wait, okay, so... It's not really that weird. Do birds just... Okay, so wait, do bats just, like... They just, like, yeah, they're mammals. Out. Live birth. Oh, but just birth? Yeah, they oh, just boy. They just can't yeah. make peas. The thing it's is, is when they're young... Is, it's when our platypuses are mammals, but they lay eggs. That's weird. Okay, cool. The, bir the birds stay down, it seems. Crows, Mr. Aura. Want some fun crow facts? Crows are very easily knocked out and bashed over the head with furniture. Speaking from what a crow facts. How I obtained this information, you may never know. Oh, I need some of the fucking may never crow. With. Whoopsies. Ah, oh, wait. Head. Oops. Oh no, they all got back up! They all got back up! Ah! It's just the ones you never help with. Here's another crow fact. Crows are weak alone, but dangerous in swarms. You don't say. How I obtained this information also, you may never know. I also might not live through this fucking crow encounter! Ah! Shit. Uh, it also took. A I also did not actually get my fuse. I think. I think I just got the key and then decided to start running. Hold up. I gotta get the fucking key. I gotta get the goddamn fuse. glad that medkits can also be used as an improvised weapon in these tough times. Uh, please stop moving. Thank you. And I am back. Hello. Had a grab food. Welcome back. Yep. I've got peppers and veggies and a nice pink sauce. Nice. Wait, pink sauce? Oh, oh no. Oh, that's delicious. Not the pink sauce. Not the not the FDA approved poison. Not non FDA approved poison. No, they had to FDA approve it. Turns out it's very hard to sell if you don't have FDA approval. Oh no, not that piece of shit. Homemade pink sauce that my mom made last night with some pasta. How does one Seven make tail. pink sauce? There's recipes online. Well, I mean, there's oh, some things that are just like it. a Russian sauce, which is just what if you mix your mayo and your ketchup because you want something that tastes slightly different, but you're not that inventive. Isn't pink, it's orange. I mean, you can make it pink. It's not supposed to come out pink. I think the I think pinkness it itself is artificial. 
platforming in a horror game. What is this limbo? Ah. No, but you still haven't answered me. What's in it? Yes, what well, is in the marinara, but it's also a kind of rich, creamy sauce. So, so it's, it's marinara and cream. So it's a vodka sauce. Sounds the that's vodka. called. Yeah, yeah, I'm under the impression if you mix a marinara and an Alfredo together, it is a vodka sauce. I give you that impression. That that's you what they call it. In it. I don't. Th I don't. I think the idea is it's supposed to look like vodka or something, but. Where are you getting this from? The internet. Noir is a well of potentially endless information. Three, three main ingredients remain consistent. Tomatoes, cake, and vodka. Yeah, but there's no vodka. So it's just tomatoes and cream. Yeah, more or less. Oh, you can, you can pick up the fucking birds and throw them! <laughs> Still delicious, though. I'll take your word for it. Hey. I like that the first time that right. they have they ever made a pasta sauce, uh, it was inspired by a movie from 1974 uh, and was originally called Furious Pasta because it's very hot and very deadly because it's got oh. chili pepper in it. I'm not sure how that worked, but hint: sometimes it's better to run. Huh? Maybe run? That, that, and it's got a plethora of veggies. It's got some peppers, oh. it's got some broccoli, oh. got some wood. Sometimes it's yeah. better to run. Run. Worry is for the weak. Killing birds from hell! Ah! Evil team is back to them! Ah! Why'd you kill them? I'm dead. I was a bit, um, confused on where I should go, I'll admit. You died. Ed. Yeah, no shisa. Okay, cool, I'll just put you back here. Nice. You see, it's odd, because, like, I just kind of kept jumping up here at one point, and then eventually just sort of let me in. I think you made a ramp. Uh, by pure accident. Not quite possible. I guess I could just do this instead. There we go. See, we just gotta jump you back up there. there. Hmm. You want me to do some setup? True, yeah, yeah. Let me here. There's already a desk. I will put an additional desk on here just to be safe. There we go. Yeah. Yee! Oh, I got fucking. I got sent to the goddamn level texture level box. Oh, gosh. Run. Oh, my God. <laughs> just slot that shit in there. Bada bing, uh -huh. bada boom. And it's just that easy, folks. That's a no match for elevator doors, as everyone knows. Only 20 damage taken. Let's go. W minus. <laughs> oh, I'm on my chapter two now. Okay. Three chapters are done this game. Yeah. Of course. Opening the doors! Floor 133. Hey! Keep going on up! Welcome to the upturned public library! There should be a light switch in this room somewhere. That's an excellent point. 
Uh, there should be. I'm, I'm having some trouble finding it. Uh, let's go look around somewhere else, maybe. Uh, hey, mannequin boy, how's it hanging? Oh, so that won't work with the computer who makes it. <laughs> I. Oh, very sorry about that, sir. I'm just testing the PA system. Weak. Oh, for no reason in particular. <laughs> okay, I gotta probably I gotta aim for one in specific. I think. It seems like the helpful little man on your shoulder just loves to fuck with you. A little bit, yeah. I like it. But also, he is, he, he's a scorbly Borbo, and I love him. <laughs> oh, no. Maybe he's just trying not to scare you. More birds! Evil Tim is back in there! These floors really are for the birds. Oh, I can't believe Namara said something so sexist. You gotta kill Drinky Crow! Uh, this is my new crow friend. Now, will this somehow defend you from other crows? I don't believe so. Uh, this is why I've elected to abandon uh, my crow friend. So soon, too. I know. What floor are you on? 133? Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, I need another fucking key. Shit. This feels like Spooky's House of Jump Scares Energy. Oh, there's the light switch. Do you want to know how many floors are on here? I mean, there's at least one. Fourteen thirty-four. Or less. Or more. Well, we've well, skipped. Know, well, we've skipped more than one. How many you go to? How many do I go to? You go to thirty different floors and two bonus floors. That one's fine. Oh. As you can see, we have a vast selection of. Oh, the shelves are empty. Someone's been eating the books again. I mean, no matter! You shouldn't read too much anyway. It's bad for your teeth. <laughs> See, this guy knows what I'm talking about. That's true. One time I closed a book too hard and my front tooth broke off. Oh my god. Crazy. Wait, what Wait. book was it? It was, uh... What book was it? You know, so like, okay, so if this is the afterlife, I mean, do I think it was have... a, I think it was a biography of Abraham Lincoln. It, it, it must have been a, a hardcover. Hey, yeah. And would have been. Ah, shisa. Of course. Of course, that's not half as bad as that thing that happened when I was reading Scott Pilgrim. Oh, it's fucking Lawrence again. What happened when you were reading Scott Pilgrim? I accidentally dated a high school girl. Oops. Wait, there's two school. Lawrences? Three Lawrences. Lawrences? The Lawrence brothers? The Lawrence Septuplets! Joey Lawrence? Why are they called Lawrence? That's his name. I think only one of them is called Lawrence. It's, it's Lawrence's extended family. You don't know that, they could just be friends. La Lawrence, Lawrence was the one that broke away from the pack. He, he was really an individual among um, among many. Among the hive mind. He's just trying to find himself. Mm -hmm. Find himself among his selves. <laughs> the needs of the many outweigh the needs of you. Or the one. The means of the many can suck my left nut. True. I want beef. <laughs> oh. How did I get this door? <coughs> what the fuck? You. Man, they they actually fucking... seem like they're they're pretty consistent with these uh med packs. God like fucking damn it, Lawrence! <laughs> and you got birds! 
You know, the, the, the Lawrences you can manage, it's the birds that are irritating. You know, next time, next time I see a bird in the woods, I'm gonna try throwing the table at it and see if that works. It's me, me. Make sure it's in a wide open space, like your dining room. Or a pool. Or a library. As long as you're not too loud about it. Actually, that's a common misconception. They want you to be as loud as possible in every library. Uh, in fact, like once, a silent in fact, library. In fact, once you become the loudest person in the library, they can congratulate you by letting you leave. Forever. Also, they encourage you to have sex in the archaeology department. <laughs> The archaeology, archaeology specifically. I know it's anthropology because anthropology is so good. It's a Dewey Decimal joke. More like a do you Decimal system. Ah. Uh, and I could never. I still haven't figured out how the congressional system works. Oh yeah, no, I, I, I never fucking, I never memorized that shit. Fucking this, the my university library used it. I could never fucking figure out where any. Do you think that they like still like teach you about the Dewey Decimal System and all that shit still? Because I feel like at the end of the Probably day, not. all that really matters they didn't is teach, to teach me very hard. Like all you have to do is just sort by genre. It's not that hard. It really isn't. You're probably find what you're looking for it easier anyway. You know, this might be a controversial opinion, but there was a brief time uh, when. Manga was popular at Barnes & Noble, but not as popular, and they kind of like sorted some of them by specific genres. Like, there was specifically a horror section. When they got- when it got big enough, they stopped doing that. I wish they would go back to doing that. Yeah, yeah but now they have like, a very large shelf full of One Piece. It seems like the JRP of the Dewey Decimal System. <laughs> oh, wow, I actually- <laughs> I lasted for so long, they just let me leave. <laughs> You see, I think the, the, the plus side I always found was the Dewey Decimal System was like that's a secret code. When you got out. What? Huh? Is that statue standing in the middle of the hallway when you got onto this floor? Oh, probably not, no. 150 damage. W, w plus! We're moving plus. up in the world, baby! Surprisingly, that's not as good as your W minus from earlier. It's like golf. <laughs> the 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 less that you do, the better. It's more like Sonic Adventure. I'm looking forward to when they start golf. introducing. Like, Sonic Adventure is a lot like golf, if you think about. I'm looking forward it. to when it's, they start introducing I, like goofy no. nonsense symbols. Like, what do you mean I'm F sharp? <laughs> you're, you're the artist formerly known as Prince Symbol. Does that thing have a name, or is it just? Is it just something he made up? I think up? it's usually the Prince symbol, or it's pronounced chocolate. I don't think it's pronounced chocolate. I think it's pronounced. Do, 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 do. Right there. Could <laughs> be wrong. How many chocolate bars you got? I got two out of four. It would appear the chocolate bars are now a collectible, which I can uh, utilize. Oh mm. boy. I will tell you they're not on every floor. Okay. Uh, in 1993, Prince announced he would no longer go by the name Prince, but rather by a love symbol, which was a mashup of both gender symbols for man and woman. Quote, it is an unpronounceable symbol whose meaning has not been identified. Wait a minute. It's all about is thinking that... in new ways, tuning into what is didn't he do that bullshit to get out of like a contract or something? Uh, no, that was that was slightly before. Uh, according to Neil Coughlin, former Rolling Stones uh, author writer, who was one of the few journalists the late musician gave access to, uh, worked up a full explanation for the name change in a time capsule at Prince's Paisley Park Estate in Minnesota. So he said, cautions Carlin, I never went for any groundbreak. Uh, the controversial decision was derided as crazy and ridiculous. Record sales declined, and this presented many logistical challenges for the media, resulting in the clumsy title of artist formerly known as Prince. Uh, the symbol was uh, considered a rebellion against Prince's record label of Warner Brothers, first signing with the company in 77 as a teenager, when he uh, released some of his hot, famous titles like Purple Rain and Sign of the Times. 
but after inking a new deal in the early 90s, Prince chafed under the company's rigid production schedule. A prolific songwriter, he wanted to release material as soon as ready, having up to 500 unreleased songs in his famous studio vault. But Warner Brothers refused, believing it would saturate the market and dilute demand for the artist's music. And they got a point. He felt the contracts uh, at the time were onerous and burdensome, says John Kellogg, assistant chair of uh, Berkeley College of Music. He rebelled against that. Uh, Prince compared his contractual obligations to slavery and began performing with the word slave on his cheek. He saw his own name as part of this contractual entrapment. Warner Brothers trademarked the name. Uh, took it and used it as the main marketing uh, took to promote all of the music I wrote, Prince once said in a press release. The company owns the name Prince and all related music marketed under Prince. I became merely a pawn to use to produce more money for Warner Brothers. Uh, after his contract expired in 2000, he went back to using his previous name of Prince, uh, allowing him to innovate new ways of making money as an independent artist. Wow. In 2015, he announced he would be releasing music exclusively to Jay-Z's hot new streaming service, Tidal. Uh, unclear. So the only reason Prince did it was as a big fuck you to WB. Pretty much, yeah. He doesn't like them, sounds like, yeah. To be fair, I don't really like WB that much either, so, you know. More power to him. Uh, Tidal is a Norwegian-American music streaming service uh, by Swedish company Aspiro, uh, and now owned by Block Incorporated, an American pro payment processing company owned by Jack Dorsey. The guy who used to own Twitter. Uh, uh, with distribution agreements with all three major labels and many independent labels, Tidal claims to provide access to more than 80 million tracks and 350,000 music videos and two levels of service. Tidal Hi-Fi with CD quality and Tidal Hi-Fi Plus, with up to MQA 24 bits. Sir, would you like to hear some tunes which I have made myself? Okay. Yes, sir, you're the best. I'll play it over the intercom so you can hear all the bass. Oh my god! Yeah! You try to stay dry. The bass is actually making it fucking difficult. This is the bass that is bumping. The bass is literally killing. <laughs> so what did you think about my tune? It was wonderful. Yes, I think I've perfected my craft. Oh, by the way, I was I was wearing headphones, but I believe I heard thrashing, splashing, and hoarse screaming on the phone line. I assume everything is okay? Yeah. Great, just great, just I thought. I'm sure you won't expect your unexpected and lengthy out. tour of my hotel has pro proven to you just how much we strive for a quality experience here in the afterlife. Just for note, how would you rate your experience so far? Whew! Why, I'm not surprised. Of course, five stars. I expected no less. I did not realize we're in the afterlife. Oh yeah, no, this starts out with, with it saying that you're in the afterlife. Oh, it's this motherfucker again! It's pajama what? man. What?! <laughs> Let me go, let me go, let me go. Ah. He's, not, he's not even, in, he's like not even, I like he's not even able to clip into the wall. He's not even able to balance out. Wait, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Wait a minute, he, he came from above. How <laughs> the fuck did he do that? No, not above you. Jesus Christ. Three of four chocolate bars. Three, good job. Jump that's a W+. Plus. Plus. Classic orange W. A mystery of fate, espionage, and shrimp. Uh, update, uh, November 2021, title introduces a free tier for the United States only. Uh, and in October 2022, uh, title shuts down its download store. 
which means it probably doesn't exist anymore. Ah, oh, lovely. I lost media. And by lost media, I mean if it was good music, probably is on YouTube. <laughs> Or if it's uh, music, I guess, I don't know. Taste is subjective and all that. Uh, they were also accused of intentionally falsifying streaming numbers for Beyonce's Lemonade and Kanye West's The Life of Pablo, uh, and therefore inflating royalties to the artist's record labels, which would be a form of fraud. Oh, that tracks. Fraud scheme. Okay, cool. Uh, however, uh, the Norwegian police uh, have more or less... Uh, couldn't get enough like evidence to like prove that in a court of law so mm. uh, they also got sued for uh, people saying that they they're not actually selling you MQA quality sound uh, bouncy bounce world a bunch of bones. jungle eternal uh, that sounds like a cool Happy game sky games racy racers yeah <laughs> play racy oh, racers hold on a second. let me get this one out of the way really quickly uh, some shit called Polybius. Oh All my, right. oh my god. That this game won't start. Do you not remember the Polybius videos? I know, I know. So that's, 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 that's a joke. I was gonna make a joke that the hidden one is the one that'll spawn that giant 8-bit devil. That'll destroy the park. <laughs> but Polybius is way worse. <laughs> Button mashing! It's like one of the fucking. It's like an old ass urban myth. Who destroyed. Who summoned the story of the world? Good show! This is from like the 80s. Uh, I got all the money. Breaking glass in video games. Specifically, video games. Oh well, yeah, it breaks. It, re it breaks cooler in video games. I must be. This must be one of those liminal spaces. It's even got that like. It's even got that like background noise that makes it sound like. Uh, things are like slightly off-putting because that's how you uh, limit all your spaces. Ooh, the gym! I'm gonna get my fucking fit on. Let's go. Oh, oh my god! In the dark? Wubba wubba! I'm in the pink today, baby. Have you never worked out in the dark? No, you know, that's work... really dangerous. You don't work out in the dark. S sounds Plus, like a very Batman thing, or need... Sasuke ideal. Mm -hmm. Plus, with things that big, you need a spotter. I you don't like... need a spotter, it's just a good idea. I do like the idea of just fucking... Just a fucking dude, just like... Like, waiting for, like, his, his significant other to get home. Just, like, in the dark, curling away, and just being like, Ugh, Hey there, baby, what's up? <laughs> Didn't notice That's you there. That's <laughs> Oh. Hey, that's fine. Hey, hey. to look up. Oh. You should probably look up. Oh, hey, he's right. Thanks. Oh, I thought that was spring. I thought that was the spring trap killer. W William Afton. William Afton. Yeah, I thought I saw the weird eyes, and I was like, oh, well, that's clearly him. Yeah. Okay, something, something. The man behind the slaughter. It's called man's laughter. <laughs> kind of sounds like the background music. Dun dun da dun 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 da dun da dun, 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 dun. Exotic butters. It's not like an actual song where they just slow down. Oh, that, that's a. The, it's March of the Toreadors from Carmen, uh, Thank which you. is definitely in the public domain by now. Uh, it just kind of became the funny. Fun, well, I mean, it didn't. But it's not. It is not actually. But it, within the eye of the public, it has become the funny FNAF music. Hey, Mr. Especially Moore, if you play do it you need slowly. any help? A little bit, yeah. Okay, good. Have you found the power plug for the elevator? No. 
All right, when you find it, you have to return to the elevator and plug it in. Then you'll... Ah, who am I kidding? That thundercloud outside is blustering again. I really just called you because I was ever so slightly afraid. It's never been so empty in the lobby. It almost sounds like the storm I was under when I died. How did you die? How did you die? Man, I shouldn't have brought that up. Let me think. Okay. You're channeling your inner Spamton for this, aren't you? I mean, I'm just I'm doing a voice, yeah? Mm-hmm. There we go. Oh, it's one of these. Okay. Okay. Some sort of puzzle. Oh, here. Oh, hey, when the fuck did you get here? Dumbass, shit-ass, fuck-ass motherfucker! Get out of here! Get out! Die! Alright, right, back to the puzzle. Well, yeah, but we can knock him out. Right, hey, you did! Yay, let's get the fuck out of here! Gonna go ahead and uh, put this right here, so that I know when he's about to kill him. That's a good idea. If this was not actually a good idea, I have to leave for the area. I have resolved my problem. Speaking of which... Nice. Another, shit, Lawrence. Another genius idea on my behalf. Hey, what's up, butter? Okay, that box Sora. disappeared. I'll tell you how I died, but first, you'll tell me what happened to you first. I don't know. Wait, what did I miss? <laughs> Wait, what? What do you mean? Did you get sick? Fell off a cliff? Get stabbed? Took a bullet? Became alligator poop? Or you don't want to say? No, I don't know. Well, that's a terrible mystery. What's the last thing you remember doing? Uh. Reading an old magazine, listening to a ham radio, checking the air filter, cooking beans and rice. I mean, I guess the closest thing to my real would be listening to a radio. Did you try to eat it? The listener is obvious, Mr. Aura. Don't put things in your mouth just because they're named after a delicious dinner. I didn't eat the radio. Oh! You have to get to the bottom of this. Sir, I won't rest until we know what killed you. And then I still won't rest because we can't sleep in the afterlife. You parasite! I'm gonna see if I can't find any records. You parasite! <laughs> <laughs> it's like one of the funniest jokes in Amazing Digital Circus. Oh dang! These are really becoming burdensome. True. Factual. Ooh. Ooh. Things. I like those. This is basically the end of Metal Gear 2. Just gotta keep opening doors and gotta find which one's got something actually worth a shit in it. Uh, it appears we found the discount, uh, the discount, uh, uh, furniture aisle. You find you found the place where my dad keeps buying furniture, and then he keeps complaining that the leather starts peeling. It's like, yeah, no shit. <laughs> Stop buying a couch for a hundred dollars. That reminds me. Learn of, how to make leather good. Though. I might have to. I, part of me want. Part of me wants to replace my couch because, admittedly, um, it's quite nice except for the middle part, which is uh, horrible to sleep on. Uh, the only problem is, is that uh, that is my grandmother's couch, and I think I think she would be a little bit upset if I got rid of it. I'm uh, buying pans for twenty dollars. Just buy a good pan. You'd spend we'd spend less on pans if you just buy a good pan. Jesus. <laughs> there we go. So a good pan isn't uh, isn't that much to ask. Yeah. Oh shit! Whoa! Yeah, buddy. <laughs> I knew those things were gonna kill you. Markiplier was right! It was only a matter of time. Well, that was the guy. Oh, come on. That was cheap. Maybe? I don't know. I lived, so... I can't really be that upset. It's not exactly... I'm not sure what happened. Uh, there was a random mannequin that assaulted me on my way out. Well, I mean... It, it, it wasn't clear enough to leave an impression. Seven minutes? Oh wow, that was the longest one this far. Only a measly 120 damage. There was a chocolate bar! 
Yeah. He was oh, fuck, I got a T plus. Well, they, they seem to enjoy the fact that you did. That's good. Well, there's somebody here. You wanna say something, buddy? Oh, sorry, I forgot to mute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, we got, we got, gotcha, we got, we got bottles, we got mason jars. I like the idea of furniture and jars, just big jars. It looks like that floor never quite fit in construction. <laughs> Sorry about that. I hope I don't find any fucking cartoon horses in jars. That'd be kind of fucked up. We're not talking about that. I like this implies that realistic horses in jars would be fine. Oh, probably. Compa comparably? Yeah, sure. Hey. Cartoon horses would be a problem. Real horses, I mean, that that that's a bit more understandable. Uh, it would appear that, uh, that the water has came through and cleaned out some stuff. Uh, it would appear the water has come back. It appears that the water, uh, comes through in bursts. Yep. And you never know if that old slime beast is around the, the, here. These the sonic boosters. To bounce you around the level. Bang. Bang. So, how is everybody today? I'm doing alright. Pretty good. I took today off, mm. so I got to have a nice, relaxing day at home. Kind of. Nice. Yummy, yummy chocolate. 3 out of 17. And now I only have a 4 day work week, too. So, you know, double poggers. Okay, so it appears I have to get a little bit wet. Oh, here's a spring. Boing! Uh, oh, it's a TV event. How's the TV even on? They're not plugged into anything. You know, we don't really worry about these things anymore. We're dead. I, Very it true. It wouldn't be too far off to assume that like el things just have like implicit electricity. <laughs> Implicitly. Oh god damn it, Lawrence! I'm tired of your shit. Oh no! I overshot him. I I'm still blaming that one on Lawrence. You know that. Thanks. Hey, look, I mean, look. He's uh, he's trying to get in your way as much as he can, and I just think it's rude. Lawrence, can you not do this right now? Alright, there we go. Thank you. Yeah, he, he has to get these eight red coins from Hazy Maze Cave. Oh, cool. They, they, they just happen to have funny uh, glass windows, so it's more satisfying to jump. Platforming? I mean, yeah, this is, on, a, on, the, on, like, on like a fundamental level, this is technically a, a, a platforming game, actually. What's oh. in the jars? Oh, uh, we got... There's a key over there. Oh. See? You know, putting platforming in a horror right. game... Putting platforming in a horror game is actually a pretty good idea, because sometimes just making a jump is scary. I would call this more like a horror comedy game rather than just a horror game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but my point still stands. Oh, yeah, you know, you're right. No, you're very true, very true. Oh. Uh, would it be the chocolate has Can you get all the chocolate bars? Can you get even one chocolate bar? I mean, I did get even one. Chocolate? You say? I don't remember when they put a thing in the chocolate. Sweet. And with or without chocolate. nuts. I like to buy all your chocolate. I hated it. I imagine they invented chocolate without nuts first. Can Presumably. I chocolate to add nuts to it. Patience, dude. I mean, no. hey, I got I got one by jumping around, so I'm doing something right. Like, right, that's wrong. He's gotta jump up, jump up to get down. 
Oh, no way. Water. Unless he drowns. Water and water and water and water. That's the FF7 fight game, I'm sorry. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my God. Wowie zowie. the new Super Mario Brothers game. But not like new Super Mario Brothers, like the newest Mario Brothers game. Oh, uh, the wonder? Yes. Because they go they go wowie zowie when they get the elephant power up. I see. Is Mario is Super Mario Wonder fun? Yes, exceptionally so. Yay! I've had I've, I've had nothing but fun in the few times that I've played it. And it's actually pretty hard too. I have a status report, sir! What I searched and searched and found something called the Complete Historic Database. It has information on every soul that lived on Earth, including you and I. Well, well, it's securely locked down. I don't even have the click clearance to request access to the files. What the? So of course I dove deep into the it opened to the deep web and hired someone who can impersonate high clearance personnel and get me access. And I don't know. This news is breaking. All I know is I'm gonna find out how you died, Mr. Aura, one way or another. I'll tell you when something else happens. Yeah, thinking about uh, it, I guess that technically me, like me only being able to put in like a quarter of my fucking name is story accurate because it means I don't remember everything about myself. More or that or I, less. Only that I kind of know my name. <laughs> First name man, last name weed. <laughs> That's almost all, but I think that's at least like a Q, a Q plus. J! Oh, I'm honored! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, what is that little thing in the corner? I, I, I find it hilarious how it implies that that's going to have some sort of meaning at some point, hopefully. I'm at opening the snores. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to keep you guessing, I guess. <laughs> this right, dude's a character. We, we can bring oh. a chair with us. Oh, that. We ordered metal detectors for security reasons, but there was a misunderstanding. Metal detector only lets two things that are 100% metal. All other objects have to go through the side apparatus. And also, there's a specified form of polyesterine plastic. Any pocket link and ash? I've run some tests. It's very scientific. I have several questions, sir. Well, I guess that's me in. What? Are you surprised you can walk through it? Sure, sir, surely you didn't think that we kept our bodies when we died. <laughs> no, we're not made of metal. I thought you know we were made of ash in the afterlife, just by judging the smell. You know, so your shoulder crumbles away if you scratch it? And why do you think your stomach never rumbles? Damn, I guess I'm a little ash boy. At least I'm made of the pocket lint, right? I guess that's- I mean, he's better. made out of pocket lint? I have to get back to important business. Uh, I mean, this is- this is metal. No, wait, there's glass. There's- there's glass. Can I break off the glass? Glass. You kind of do. I need to. Uh, we need something. We need metal. a metal in. Oh wait, is, is the, are these like pipes or? These are mops. No, these are mops. You need to just grab the lever like you did the thing in the beginning. Uh, I don't. No. Nope. I need something that is made uh. of metal. Uh, put the books on the conveyor. Oh, actually, yeah, wait, yeah, if I just put the book on the conveyor belt, that might work. Here. Uh. Remember, you need to put it down gently. Uh, yeah, yeah, let me try. That's a good point, yep. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, that actually worked, wow. Huzzah. That was a big fan over here, okay. Woo! Woo! Wheelchair! It's a Silent Hill game. It's 
jammed. Okay, so now I need something that's purely metal. Okay. Uh, does a wheelchair count? No, it's got cloth. Yeah, you're right. Well, maybe if I just need to find like a giant, like massive pocket lint that'll work. Uh. Or that cabinet? Here, hold on a second. Does this break? Uh, this appears to be not metal, or this appears to be not glass. That's not metal. <laughs> Give me a key. Science. Cool! Oh, okay. Ah, I see. Why is there a hospital in the afterlife? For the aesthetics. I guess that's one way to describe it. <laughs> Welcome to the underground! How was your, how was your balls? <laughs> Those might be powerful things that ever can get even non-magnetic objects. By altering physical structure in a way science thought it possible, they may be intelligent. I like this means you can just use it to easily destroy everything. It's true. That looks like a conundrum. It's okay, I think I got it figured out. I'm sure they'll figure out in a couple- I ain't got a couple hours! Whoopsies. I oh, mean, he's gonna need a couple hours for that. Well, time to get more stuff. Uh, large sofa. This seems, uh, very, uh, placeable. Bada bing! Who said I needed hours? Fuck that guy. So which floor is this one? Uh, two... One any Okay. Sir, status report! I'm not a general. I know, but I feel like a secret agent, so go along with it. Here's the complete historic database. I'm a high clearance official now, but not really. Just some nerd from the deep web deep, deep web just hacked me to get me in. I believe it was built in 1893. Is that what all top secret databases, databases look like? So, well, that was it. They were able to find out what caused your death, but now I have to request a document to be faxed. So I ordered a fax machine from my supplier, and... The fax machine arrived! It's puke color, looks like it runs on a gas engine. Because it literally does! It's a good thing I collected gas tanks in a, as a hobby. <laughs> so, or I'd have to order that too! Get to the point! You sure that's a fax machine? <laughs> Absolutely! Well, anyways, I set everything up. Then I remember the upturned in doesn't have any phone lines. The fax machine's not going to work. I'll admit it. I don't know what to do, Mr. Aura. Must be something. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, what's happening? The frogs are just smashed through the window of the lobby. They're my beautiful window! Isn't it windy outside? That's no wind. Yeah, that's not wind. I don't know. I'm hiding. There's a light shining over the desk. It's moving around a lot. It's like a flare. And the air smells like boiled eggs. Scratch that. No, it smells like root beer flavored candy. I hate root beer flavored candy. Are you having a stroke? Why? Oh, sorry, sir. I'm gonna have to put you on hold. Oh. What the absolute? Something's happening. He's probably having a stroke. <laughs> well, hopefully he'll get over his stroke pretty soon. He's already dead. Not sure what more can go wrong. C 
flop. You know, I'm getting better. Okay. Or w worse. It's kind of hard to tell when you go that when you go that far around the alphabet. All right. Two oh seven. Two oh eight. Two oh eight. Okay. Oh wow, he didn't even need to open the door for me this time. Shit. Oh. Oh. So this is what we're doing, huh? <laughs> oh, hey, dude, what's up? You want this chair? Guess not. <laughs> Guess it'll leave it there for you. Oh. I already know you guys' trick. What, do they do that uh, weeping angel thing? They try to assault you at some point. I can't get over how weird the character's movement is. Oh. Nice soda. I'll, uh, I'll leave you to you to your show. Okay. Oh, that's just the way out from here. Okay. Oh. Fun. Dare I say adventurous. Oh, turnt is turnt. Oh, this is one of those hallways that gets a, like, smaller the further down you go, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. So can I pick up the tiny chair? Let's go. Tiny oh, yeah, I can. Oh, there's nothing behind it. <laughs> I didn't know the mannequins were so in optical illusions. I guess there's something in common in that case. Boo! Interrupt something. Ah, fuck! It begins! <laughs> I, I know I said I'm, I'm in the men, but not this many and not this uh, fake. Whoa! Pretty sure they just have a Ken doll situation going on. Oh god, he's just Ken! He's just Ken! Ah! Markiplier was right! Markiplier was right! Oh, why? He's just Beach Ken. Uh, he hates, uh... Markiplier thinks he's really fond of mannequins, to my, uh, recolle recollection. He's got a specific phobia of them. Are you kidding me?! Not even the Upside Down can stop you and save you from these guys! Ah! So rude! Going the wrong way. I know. Yeah, I probably am. Yeah, you're right. No, I'm, not. I'm going a way. Oh, uh, he's. Uh, oh, that, that that's very chocolate inventive. Chocolate. I like that. I like chocolate. Fine, right, yeah. Well, I, just I, I went anyway. Oh no. Fellas, please, it's chocolate! You like chocolate, don't you? I'm going to go ahead and take one of these just to be safe. Uh, not that way. Not this way. 
Okay, that way. It says exit. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck you! Yeah, that's what I thought. Bitch. It wasn't that much damage. I got most of the chocolate. You! Boss. <laughs> Two twenty two. We haven't heard from our uh, little buddy in a minute. Damn. Oh. Oh, come on. Okay, fine. Weak. Yes, I have to be more direct. Whoa! Awesome! Oh, hey, guy, what's up? Allow, allow. Uh, who are you? Hello, hello. We'll learn of me soon. What happened to Nick? Maybe dead for all I know. Allow, allow. Fun! We got a new buddy. Allow, allow. You tripped Where? a wire! The target prison. Oh, fuck. Ah! Ah! Jesus ah! Christ. It's just like Metal Gear Solid. So now you have to. So now you have to watch your feet. It's the ultra box unit. All right, watch for. Uh, well, watch for watch for wires, I guess. Or lasers Damn. with the floor near your feet. Or lasers with the floor near your feet. That too. Man, that's cool. Oh, uh, laser. Uh, Lasers. I'm built pretty all right, it would say. Lasers. There we go. Hint, it's a trap. It's a trap. Oh, okay, I actually need to be, like, fast on this one. Alright. Ah, shit! Wait, don't see this made of glass! Glass! <laughs> I, I think there might Whoa. not be a way to get out of these. I got nope, this close. is why Orange needs to be careful now. No speed running here. There's a timer! <laughs> hey, you got a box now. Oh my god. They, they have a fucking... They have an invisible thing that stops you throwing this fucking... What the fuck? I'm pretty sure the box just had no mass. Oh my god. And falls right away because of it. Because uh, it is just the box. Very hot. I think that that box has been in the elevator for a hot minute, and there may be like some sort of like weird uh, issue with items that you bring in from other levels or something. Uh... Oh, fuck. Okay.
lasers. Woo! And good job. I'm so sick with it. Let's go. He's moving different, y'all. I don't even know who I am anymore. <laughs> I'm making too much money. X minus. And they love you for it. <laughs> Good job. I, I, it's, it's sometimes it's hard to get to X even on a regular day. Damn. All right. Bum, bum, bum. Oh. All right. Two fifty. I'm back! You okay? Never better, Mr. Aura. Turning the phone on you, I listened a little longer, and that thing that moved in the lobby, I heard it paint it, panting, and I could hear some kind of clatter on the marble floor. So I thought, of course, it may only, it must have only be a very unusual breed of dog. So something else, what kind of hotel manager hides from a potential guest? You can't spell business without bravery, or uh, something like that. Instead of looking over the desk at that strange creature, that's when a thousand images flashed through my eyes, all in two seconds. Sir, if you do the numbers, that's 500 images a second. I thought I was dying, but then I remembered. I'm already dead! And the images weren't like memories. Maybe some kind of like incredibly fast teaser trailer for a movie you'll never see. I that the best course of action was to curl up into a fetal petition for 15 minutes, which I probably did so. I'm sure you had a good time in the meantime. Yeah. Ah, just as I expected. But trust me, sir, your luxury suite on four on floor one four three four will be the best part. Anyway, it seemed like that strange the strange being might never leave the lobby. Then I got an idea. Right to the drawers the, the drawer in my desk where I keep the dog treats. You've seen a lot of dogs? No, the, the dog treats are I, I just like the treats, okay? But I figured I'd give up give up one if it meant uh, befriending this large, terrifying creature. So I shielded my eyes and stood up with a treat and said, Here, you want a snack? She was torn out of my hand before I knew it. Then there was a loud swoop and shattering, and I opened my eyes and the thing was gone. But it might have been be it might have been more like a bird than a dog, but I think it was both. So now what? Well, I was meant to the, the other window of the lobby on the way out, so now I, I have two windows to replace. Uh, what about my death? Ah, I almost forgot to mention. There's a big fat box on my desk. I can only assume it was left here for me by the bird dog thing. So maybe it was like a giant carrier pigeon from hell. What's the box look like? It was the other old box. Uh, but this one has a special label. It says, classified from the king's aides to the two children in a trench coat. What do you think that means? Um, it's those top secret documents? Yes, that's what I was thinking. If we're right, and the box should contain a complete account of all history that has ever been told up to the present time, and we should be able to find out what killed you. But this box is covered in slime. I think it's the slobber of the bird dog thing, and I'm not touching that. What then? I ordered gloves. They should be arriving shortly. Come on. There, there, Mr. Aura. I also want to know how you uh, how you died, and the box of classified documents surely hides the answer. But we can't be too hasty. I'll up you when I I'll update you when I can open it safely. Opening the doors. But currently, it's covered in slime. Oh, lucky! Oh, how lucky you are to have stopped at floor 250. That's the art museum. I'm sorry. I hope you will appreciate the hard work that went into these exquisite pieces of art. You parasites! Uh, this one does not have a name. Oh. What? Oh fuck. Uh, please um, pay attention to the sounds of the floors above you. Please focus on the beautiful art, sir. Okay. Abstract and avant-garde. Very interesting. Corner. Violet Tide. That says Violet. Violet Tide. Pl plantain. Abstract 1. Abstract negative 2. Abstract 2! <laughs> Yeah, nothing bad usually happens in art museums, so I'm sure this will be fine. Uh, the thinker. Uh, you're the, not the, the thinker. <laughs> Bro, you're thinking. Isn't that just the statue with the veed? Booger. I hit you all. Other corner. Darkness. Lost ticket. Ooh, what's that middle one? Sideways child. <laughs> other other corner shapes thin <laughs> uh, you know i think we might have to collect these corners 
I'm assuming this is also one of the corners. Other, other, other corner! Bowl. Portrait, <laughs> 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 portrait. <laughs> <laughs> uh, optimal configuration. Rare vase. Amazing. Dude! Teapot! There's no teapot there. Tea! Abstract 9. Ooh. Prickly 1. Abstract lost count. Key. Most pathetic objects. What is that? It's a mop. Mop. Whoa! Oh! Don't worry about the things upstairs, it's fine. It's a fucking titan! Don't worry about it. You're expecting me to not worry about that. Lawrence! See, Lawrence is a lot easier to worry about. Yeah. Bro, do you like fucking mine? You mean not worry about? Because you can handle them? So you wouldn't have to worry as much? Do I have to like- do I have to, yeah. like, I have, maybe I have to like satiate it with like an item of some kind? Oh, there we go. Yeah, see? Literally. Woo! Nope! I'm too fast for you, motherfucker. Bye. Lawrence! Can't we talk this out, Lawrence? No. I think we're far beyond talking at this point. He didn't like that you were having all those bones. Those bones are coming from upstairs. Oh lordy! Oh lordy! Hey, grab the fuck! There was fine art in front of you! You could've grabbed that! Oh god damn it. Game over. How far back is it gonna take me? You just got Aaron's mom. Jesus Christ, that's a that's a hell of a description. <laughs> Damn. Okay, you gotta like throw it directly into his palm. Okay. Ah! Fucking mannequins! Well, that's the art museum. I think the fucking. I'm pretty sure that the, 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 the thing just reset when I died and started again. M plus! Rated M for mature. Mm. Well, it's just a little too mature, you know? Alright, I got bones now. Bones. I cannot pick up the bones. I guess they're just kind of stuck with me. 270. Opening the doors. Wait, is this the asylum? Oh. Oh, come on! God, we're in some kind of dark descent or something. Or I guess it'd be a dark ascent. I'd rather not. I'd rather not. Is there a particular reason why that one specifically? Whoa. That was one of those crows. Run. I mean, what is the thing I need there? Uh, nope, just eggs. Okay.
Oh, now it's now it's a bright ace, and you remember everything. Ah, fucking L Lawrence! How do you keep getting in these fucking situations, man? With me specifically. He's a trifling sort of guy. My man loves a good trifle. He's he's bringing strife upon you. Okay, now it's a dark descent. Twenty eight stab wounds. Big Crash Bandicoot portal. Going into a fucking vault. Oh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's something hanging up there. Oh, okay. Big mobile. It's a big stars. mobile. We're gonna fight a giant baby? Oh, it's spirited away. Re remember break your where arm. you are, Orange. Uh, well, now there's a doghouse. Oh. Okay. Hey. What did we do? Oh, it's the guy. It's the wiggly guy from the. Hey, friend. From the interstitials. What's up, Don't buddy? Get things out. Hey, right here. Come on. Come on. Let's go. It's do you not want to come with? Okay, come on. Come on. Why the guy you locked away in here, huh? I shall call him Newt. Come on, because he looks like a newt. Don't. He's a very him. neat newt. Don't name him. It makes it harder when you have to kill them later. It feels like they might. This feels a bit bait and switchy. It's it's it's. He's your weighted companion cube. Newt, come on. There you, you go. You find this dude in a prison block? Oh hell no. Good boy, hell. newt. Yeah, but it's a hell prison. Like everyone's suppo either supposed to be in prison or like. It doesn't, or or it's complete nonsense. I choose to believe that this uh, this new creature is my son, and I love him. It, they. Oh. There's no exit in case of fire. I mean, if, uh, can, can you can we even get fires in the afterlife? Oh, he's just oh he's just gonna come with me. We, we can oh. spit hot fire. I'm on Newt. Who's a good boy? Wait, what? Oh, no, no, come on, get in, the, get in the elevator. Oh, okay. See you later then, I guess. Bye, Newt. 420. Find us. B, B plus. plus. Moving up. The V the is for Victoire. True, so true, honestly. Also, sorry if you can hear the stuff in the background. I was watching the uh, craziest moments of Jerry Springer. What kind of person cuts their penis off with garden shears? You know, you don't have to talk about Crazy it. Crazy one, yeah. It's, it's fine. But yes, that is the entirely correct answer, yeah. I assume someone who really doesn't present? want their penis to be there. We lost communication once again due to the storm. It's really beginning to shake my walls like an angry toddler. Or an old man with a handful of dice. I'm gonna have this desk to hide behind. I assume everything has gone according to plan for you, sir? Yes. Yes, well, as long as he didn't release shrimp from his containment, everything should be fine. Oh, the shrimp. Yes, about 40 years ago, I securely locked up shrimp in the most safe and happy room imaginable. But a red light just lit up in my desk, notifying me that he had escaped. Uh, you didn't happen to see a large four-legged thing, did you? Uh, oh. no. Anyways, 
The gloves are on, I was able to open the box safely. And? That was a lot of documents. I mean, there's so much paper, it, it has to be, it had to be creased and folded like origami just to fit in the box. It's like a dense cube of paper. And here's another thing, the paper is glowing. When I tried to touch it, it burnt me. I had to hold my hand under the sink. So I ordered prongs. How long will this take? Come on. Oh, don't worry, sir. The prongs already arrived. The red hot sack of top secret historic documents is sitting on my desk. But sir, it's hard to flip through a stack of documents with a pair of steel prongs. Obviously, I need to cool it down. I thought I might try plunging the stack of documents in a cold bucket of water, but that might destroy the paper. What do I do? Blow on it, maybe? Hmm, hmm, yes, yes, like cooling a bowl of creamy potato. But th this that might take a little while, don't you think? Why creamy potato? You know, I was a collector of many things on Earth. Well, did you know I used to keep a pristine collection of bowls of creamy potato soup that hadn't been finished? Why? Why? Once you get your hands on more than one creamy potato soup at once, you'll understand. You've just got to have them all. Anyway, there must be a better solution on blowing than blowing. Who has enough air in their lungs for that? I'll get back to you shortly. Opening the doors. What kind of documents? The classified ones. Top men are taking care of this. Hey, Lawrence, what's up? Oh, that's C4. Simtex. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, whoa. <laughs> I was gonna get for being for a job interview, you motherfucker. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, uh, good, oh good. this is funny. Good job, Lawrence. I knew I could count on you for something. I know it's supposed to be something of a horror game, but this game is more chuckle-worthy than scary. Undertale for dead people. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I seem to have gone in a complete circle. Let's try that again. Uh, that, yeah, that is the way that I came in. Okay. She gotta keep hugging that left wall. Oh, that hall, that hall wugging. True, 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 true. Oh, it's a big thing of, uh... Nick. Everything. Holy shit. You are dead. I wanted to see if that wouldn't kill me. Turns out. You see, uh, fate would have a, have a... has a funny way of, uh... making things... making things, uh... occur. Is it right? We're making it happen. We're doing this. This shit is about to occur. Me when events are transpiring. I'm here for the fuck you interview? Seems I passed. Okay. Okay, wrong way. Wow! Magnets, bitch! I like it's not strong enough to open a door, though. I mean, those, like, those fucking locks are, like, made of iron or something? I don't know. I guess magnets make me strong enough to resist wind tunnels. That's 
the power of magnetism. I'm the master of magnetism. <laughs> You see, that's a lot of it hotter? No, no, you can have a cool setting on a uh, hair oh, dryer. Yeah. Surely this isn't everything. Oh, okay. We're doing this now? Alright. What? Huh? Oh! And what a helpful guy. See, just, he's just trying to give me like a, like a nice, helpful uh, pro tip for this, uh, for this video game. Okay, nothing there. Oh yeah, if you can bring that with me too. If you, think if you can bring that with you too, that'd actually be great. Okay. Okay, so now the better question is, where do I actually put this, and uh, how do I, where, where do I go from here? I'm, uh, I'm feeling it. That is the elevator. And is this a tall room? Uh, not to, not to the appearance. Uh, oh wait a minute, yeah, wait here, yeah, okay, yep, yeah. mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, it's coalescing. Oh yeah, he went there. Boing. Boing. Still nothing on these things. Make their lasers. Work. You can never be too careful with these things. That's debatable. Oh, I have wind now. Ah, uh, see, now we can use the power of the wind to escape. Oh, it's oh this, actually, this, like, this physically makes me go faster too. I'm slower. Well, no, but like if I if I angle myself the right way. Okay, maybe I could have approached that a little bit better. But overall, I think this is a rousing success. These Lawrences don't know what's hit him. Well, I know what hit me. Fuck. Was it a Lawrence? Yeah, it was a Lawrence. Damn it! I thought I had something I mean, fun. I thought I had something cool and potentially I, funny going on here. And, and uh, in here, I thought that that shrimp was going to come to us in our time of need. Listen, don't don't don't, uh, don't shame me for being a dreamer. You know, I had I had plans. <laughs> I had thoughts and feelings and uh, potentially dreams, but uh, those will never happen now because this wind power is far too dangerous for uh, my feeble mind to comprehend. I'm not really sure. Why are you so vertical? Oh, that was.
was surprisingly easy. Huh. Wait, why does it say 125, 154 still? I had to go downstairs, didn't you? Damn, no. Oh, hey, I like S. Zero chocolate bars. S plus. Nailed it. Dun, 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 dun. Opening the doors. I have six house fans on high, pointed at the hot stack of documents. I think it's cooling down. Sorry if you're screaming, I can't hear you. Oh. Oh, hey! Dude, what's up? That's huh? the shrimp. Shrimp? Aw, hey buddy, what's up? Ah, fuck! I don't blame you for this! You've fallen into the shrimp hole. <laughs> shrimp has sent you to the shrimp lands. You know, I'm actually kind of curious if, if I, like, look up, is he, like, looking- Oh yeah, he was looking dead at me for a second! The sewer shrimp. See, I don't particularly think that shrimp meant this in a malicious way. I think it just simply Did happened. Did it say? Hmm? Uh, you could just there be were words on the wall. Uh, planets. There were planets on the wall. No, there were words on the wall farther back. Uh, uh, Mom, was that you? Save me. Uh, it's dark. Uh, I believe that's it for wall wordage at the moment. Uh, it's wet. It is no longer wet. Keep going straight. I don't, I don't wanna. Where is this? Where has this little cockroach found himself? The plumbing system. What a disaster. For that storm, you'd be safe in your room right now. Uh, smells like shoplifting. So that everything, even the garbage disposal system. All. I like pizza. Oh, I like pizza on pineapple. We're dealing with a mentally unsound individual. Uh, what so made you think that? Because they're putting pizza on top of their pineapples. You Sir, can't I just can't eat a pineapple that, that the way. As it goes. Is that a named child also on the line? Thought I cut a signal, bah. Damn, bah. Oh. I I I see where I gotta uh, turn right. Okay. Baxes. Turn right again. Keep going straight. Right? Oh, okay. Uh... What was I? I think that's what it says. Ick is lying to you. In more ways than one. Now I kind of figured he was like downplaying some elements of what's going on. Let's go to the side, cockroach. Okay. Uh, what's down here? Oh, all right. We.
long night shift. See you soon. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Oh wait. Did it fall on you? Yeah, it's still going. Oh, he sure they, they sure do. to discuss our friendship. Uh, why? So you're really a true friend. I've heard some questions if you don't mind. Are you serious? <laughs> Question what one? Uh, sir, Ick is my business moniker, but what is my real name? You remember? You never told me. Ichabod. My real name is Ichabod. At least I think that's what my parents called me. So they messed up when writing it down. So formally, I'm Ick. Uh, what's your last name? My last name? Key. Why, thank you for asking. Shh, the French survey is not over. You can still come back from this. That's true. How many arms do I have? Two. Two. Yes, it's true. My suit killer just never stitched the second sleeve. I guess they just forgot. I was building up the nerve to ask him to fix it, but I realized how cozy and snug my left arm is. And it's a fashion statement. You should really try it. Okay. Question three. What am I most afraid of? Spiders? Absolutely not. Believe it or not, there's a spider on my forehead, and guess what? What? The eight-legged freak has been on my forehead for the past two days! Yes, that's right. I'm sick. I'm a daredevil! You could have seen it on my head when you met me on the front desk, but it's black, so it blends in like a chameleon. I suppose sometimes I can hear it breathing up there. This concludes the ick, the ick friendship survey. Uh, did I win? I will have to analyze these results uh, with a team of experts. Please give me up to five business days. Oh, by the way, don't worry about the mother slug. It's been securely contained beneath floor 295. We have a security system in place. Oh, it was the mother slug. Okay. All right. Thanks. See ya. Oh, well, that was fun. I'm gonna end it off now. Good night, everybody. Okay, see you later, man. Good night. Stay around. E minus. Chapter 3. Mathematical. A story of triumph and chaos. I guess I'm getting near the end, shit. I would assume, anyway. Mm -hmm. 300, 301, 302. 303, 304, 305, 306, 307. Sir, status report. Uh, the friendship survey? So it'll take three to five days. As we speak, I have a team of professionals analyzing the results. No, you don't. Prove it. Anyway, I called in the secret documents. I can read them now. It took me 15 minutes just to unfold the paper. And I thought I need a magnifying glass. Because you know, the text is just so small. I need a microscope! We just, just have to hear explain the Big Bang. It really is the complete history of historic database, Mr. Aura. Your cause of death is surely described within these pages, but it's gonna take some reading. Just get to the end. Oh, don't worry. I'm not interested in, uh, I'm, I skipped ahead. I'm not interested in quarks, microbes, and the and Cambrian, expl and Cambrian explosions. We didn't even drive cars back then. But, uh, sorry, sorry, I looked into everything. I missed the, I missed the dying so quick in 1996. Uh, so I'm going to kick back with a cup of coffee and read this like the Daily News, but for an extended amount of time. So I those pictures! This is, um... This is not what I was anticipating for floor 307. Um, I would, I would dare to say... Man, it looks so easy, too. I would dare to say that this is uh, no longer a hotel room, if not for the fact that the, 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 the sky is very clearly painted on. It's a skybox. Yeah, literally! Ned. You're right, it's a skybox!
What is this? Some kind of ghost town? <laughs> oh, this this building is empty. I wouldn't necessarily say that uh that med kits make up for the lack of pillows. Are there like themed suites then? This is actually kind of nifty. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I have eyes. Holy shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> really? Okay, I was expecting him to jump scare us then. Uh. He just wants a fine sass. Ah! Of a bar fight. To be fair, they're probably getting in each other's way. Oh, of course the fucking mannequin gets involved too. Well, yeah. Rat. Okay, let's try that again. Yeah, I'm gonna look around the rest of this place before I head into the fucking saloon. Granted, there's nothing like necessary in the saloon because it's it's just a uh, it's just some chocolate. I don't necessarily need that. Uh, jail cell of sorts. Something's up there. Well, fuck you too, shitbird. Ah, fuck you. I'm just gonna make my One way. One of them there. boys. Thank you, I might go to one of those cabins. Oh, there we go. chocolate in there, but also uh, what appears to be an inky abyss. Uh, I think I'm good for now. Let's just go over this ledge. Uh, that is where I came from. Maybe I'll just go ahead and plunge myself into that uh, house. And, uh, see where it leads. Yup. It's just a bunch of chocolate. And also more spice. Oh, it leads into free chocolate. So free, it doesn't even have a fucking sound effect with it. Wow. Anyways, I imagine I can kind of just take one of those springs and bring it over to that one area so I can get the hell out of here. Which um, I am all for because there's, just, there's a lot more than I need to look around. little footsie noises it scratches my my brain the right way
Well, uh, I, that got me one way. Uh, as for the other, well... Uh, well, shit. Freezing. Are these trees... Okay, those trees are not pliable. Uh, what about over here? Oh! Well, that's one way to do it, I guess. Secret ramp. I guess I just kind of did it the funny way. See, the easiest way to find Daphne is over here. Uh, about the pictures in this document. I was born in 1981. I lived in the time when hairstyles were, let's say, uh, normal! Floor complete. The silence is deafening. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Not even a fucking. Not even a, a raucous applause for that T minus shit. It's probably it's not doing that great today. <laughs> it took a minute. Oh boy. <laughs> Stay in. Alright, let's see what's in the year. Oh. You know what? Hold on a okay. Uh I think that's enough for tonight actually. I think I'm good. Yeah, I'll see I'll see you later too. Oh, okay, <laughs> didn't even let me fucking Alright then. Uh yes, let's see. Okay, so the remaining achievements are uh, reach chapter four, uh, throw a television in the elevator, one that's just called caught by the morning, not really sure what that means, uh, beat all the bonus levels, and then put a collar on shrimp. So I guess I'm going to have to look out for a collar the next time I see shrimp. Alrighty. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm done for now. Uh, good night, everybody. Have a good one. Mm -hmm. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night.